Hello everyone, Ryan from Huckabye here, and today we're going to be talking about page speed. So what do you need to know about page speed, specifically in regards to the upcoming 2021 Google algorithm update? So a couple things that we'll learn in this video is how page speed impacts business, what page speed means, the key loading metrics to focus on for user experience, and the impact of page speed on SEO. Uh, so to start off, how important is speed to your users? Well, we took a, a couple of samples from a couple studies, and the time that it takes to load the page is about 75% of the experience from users. So if you look at the other metrics, like how easy is it to find what you're looking for, how well the site fits the screen, those all have smaller impact than the speed of the page actually loading on the device that the user is using. So how it impacts business, as a page speed goes from say like one to three seconds to load, the probability of a bounce increases only 32%. Now, if it takes up to five seconds, you're at 90%, six seconds, you're at 106%, and 10 seconds, you're at 123%. So you can really see the, the impact that it has on the bounce rate for users going to your site. So defining a load time, uh, and here we're looking at a screenshot from something called Google Lighthouse. Um, W3C, though, that's the business that kind of runs the internet. Um, load is not a single moment in time. It's an experience that not even one specific met metric can capture. And there are multiple moments during that load experience that can affect how fast, how slow a user perceives the page to be. So here's some of those metrics, especially the ones that Google looks at and specifically Google Lighthouse. First contentful paint, that's how long it takes for the first element on the page to load. So like the title, text, content, etc. Now the next three that we're looking at, these specifically affect the upcoming Google algorithm update that focuses uh, on usability of the website. And the first is first input delay. How long does it take between the time you click on something, uh, specifically like interacting on the page, and the time that it takes that page to interact with your click. So the next one is largest contentful paint. How long does it take for the largest element on the page to load? So whether it's an image, even if it's a background or a video or something like that. Um, and then layout stability or cum cumulative layout shift. So do those elements on the page move around as the page loads? So like an ad or something like that. Uh, you'll notice that Facebook's browser is really bad at this. When you click on an article and you're scrolling on your phone, uh, it takes forever to actually get those ads to pop up and can potentially cause a really bad experience if you're going to click on something and you click on an ad that you didn't want to. So that's a very, very important one. Okay, so there are certain thresholds for each one of those items that we just looked at and the thresholds for those actually loading. Here we see a chart where it shows on the left-hand side, you can see first contentful paint, first input delay, largest contentful paint and the cumulative layout shift. And those can be measured in either milliseconds or seconds. And you can see on the chart here that for say example, first contentful paint, a good score is zero to 1000 milliseconds. A poor score is over 3000 milliseconds. So you take a look at this chart here. If that's something that you're really trying to focus on, this kind of gives a good overall example of how fast they need to be to get a good lighthouse score. So when you're dealing with page speed and SEO, so Google ha Google's already made speed an SEO ranking factor. It first became official in 2010 for desktop, and then in 2018, Google changed their algorithm to include that for mobile as well. Now, upcoming in May, the core web vitals, that's going to be a major ranking factor. Now, we don't know how much of a ranking factor, but it's a good time, usually when Google says a year in advance that they're gonna have a major update on this, that's going to be a pretty big ranking factor. Uh, what's going to happen with that? Well, fast websites, they're going to rank higher and get more organic traffic than slow ones, simply because of that user experience. So how does Huckabye actually work with the page speed? So Google allocates a limited time, which they refer to as a crawl budget for each website. So a fast loading time means that that Google bot doesn't have to spend as much time on your website to get the same amount as say another website or even more. And that's what PageSpeed will do. So the faster it loads, the, 
the more your content gets scanned by Google and the more keywords you rank for and hopefully the more organic traffic you get. So remember, page speed isn't just a technical problem. It's a business problem. And that's a quote from Google. So this is what we've learned in the video today is how page speed impacts business, what page speed means, the key metrics to focus on for user experience, and the impact of page speed on SEO. Now, we do have another video showing uh, Huckabye's software and how easy it is to implement page speed. So feel free to take a look. We've got a link to it in this video. Thanks for watching. We'll see you soon.